MUROS, the Mobile User Objective System, is the U.S. military's answer to secure and reliable tactical communications for the foreseeable future, and it's being delivered by the United States Navy. Today, we operate globally, and a global joint force relies on global communications. We need secure communications for our operations. The MUA system will provide secure global communications to the joint warfighter on the move. Yeah, three critical points for the MUA's program is first, it's operational, supporting the warfighter every day. Secondly, it brings enhanced capabilities over the legacy system. And thirdly, it is critical for the tactical warfighter. MUOS is a global system and it allows the communicator to make a call from, say, DC to the Middle East, all in one system. That capability is brand new. And with that capability, it brings a lot of opportunity. Born from the need for stable 24-7 ship-to-shore communication that could be successful regardless of environmental and geographical conditions, the Navy is assigned the responsibility to provide this vast capability known as narrowband satellite communication. So from a space accomplishment perspective, News One was the highlight of our effort at the time. But fast forward to now, with the launch of News Four, we are going to deliver that worldwide coverage and communication service for the users. The nice thing about MUOS is that the ground system and the terminals contain all the switching and routing technology. The satellite uh, remains unchanged over time and we can allow technology insertion into the ground and the waveform over time to increase capability without having to make any satellite changes. MUOS will bring a capability to the joint warfighter that we haven't seen yet. It'll bring smartphone-like capabilities with global communication, with voice, video, and data. The leaders of tomorrow that are growing up today with handheld devices, computing power that we only dreamed about in our day, will find ways to implement MUOS and to lead the joint warfighter in ways we can't even think of today. The MUOS WCDMA is similar to technology embedded in smartphones all over the world. It brings many benefits and improved capabilities over the legacy SATCOM system. It is already being demonstrated in various environments and for many purposes, like worldwide broadcast, extending SATCOM to individual soldiers, and communications above the Arctic. The legacy payload we have on the MU satellites allow us that smooth transition um, to a newer, better MUOS uh, capability. We are benefiting from that idea um, as we are providing the legacy channels for current user, and we are exploring all the capability that MUOS has to offer. Users with MUOS terminals can seamlessly connect beyond line of sight around the globe. MUOS's new smartphone-like capabilities include simultaneous crystal clear voice and video and mission data on a high-speed internet protocol-based system. The IP-based nature of MUOS allows network access to unclassified and classified networks. This network access for deployed tactical users will allow the exchange of uh, critical situational awareness and targeting information. As a naval pilot, uh, MUOS will really bring uh, that expanded communications chain, uh, will allow us to coordinate with those forward air controllers, uh, those tactical controllers that need air support at a much greater range. Uh, so there'll be less time over the target area, We'll be able to get there, provide the support, and leave. With that smartphone comes the ability to introduce new applications, new ideas that haven't yet been envisioned by the warfighter. It's, it's exciting to think about over the next 10 years how this system is going to actually be used versus how it was envisioned to be used by the original designers. Our Navy has a long and tremendous history and heritage in space, but so does our Army. And from the beginning, we've partnered with the Army to provide capabilities that our nation needs. That heritage, that legacy, well, we're building on that today with the cooperation between the Army and the Navy in delivering global secure communications on the move. We work very closely with PEO C3T on delivering MUOS capability. The terminals, the waveform, the software, the ground stations, and of course, the satellites. 
More than just satellites, MUOS is a complex DOD orchestra comprised of a five satellite constellation, four ground stations across the globe, an integrated waveform, the radios, and complex software to manage the network. The mission of end-to-end -end integration is to bring together all of the systems that uh, are required to deliver a MUOS capability to the warfighter. Uh, the MUOS program office was responsible for building the satellites and the ground systems and the software that programmed them, but other government program offices were responsible for delivering terminals and uh, the teleport to connect MUOS into the global information grid. MUOS's design allows it to extend UHF communications further north and south on the globe than ever before. This coverage into polar regions of the world is significant, considering wireless and satellite communications have always been a struggle at those latitudes. Warfighters need satellite communications on a variety of terminals, small, large, man portable and airborne. The key to this terminal implementation is the MUOS waveform. Uh, the government makes that waveform available to any of our U.S. vendors who's building a product intended for use by the military. Uh, they take that waveform, they implement it on their uh, product, and we assist them in providing laboratory facilities where they can complete their integration work. And uh, the end result is more MUOS products that can put the desired capability into the hands of the warfighter that's suitable for their mission environment. Assuring current capability, developing next generation communication technology, launching the future. Navy's been a leader in space from the very beginning of our nation's foray into space. In 1957, the Naval Research Lab launched the Vanguard rocket, carrying the first orbiting satellite that the U.S. would put into space. We've been in space since then, and we will be in the future. The Navy has and will continue to deliver mobile, tactical satellite communications to the Department of Defense. Once operational, MUOS-4 will complete the MUOS network's near global coverage with MUOS-1, MUOS-2, and MUOS-3 satellites already on orbit. MUOS-5, an orbital spare satellite, is expected to launch in 2016.